Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve the system of equation by the cos Jordan method. As a first step, we are going to write the augmented matrix A comma B. In this matrix, the first column will be all the coefficients of x1 which is 5, then minus 1, there is no x1 term here, so it is 0. In second column, the coefficient of x2 which is minus 1, 5 and minus 1. And third column is the coefficient of x3. There is no x3 term in the first equation. So it is 0, minus 1 and 5. And the last column is all the constants 9, 4, minus 6. Now we got the augmented matrix. We have to convert this as a diagonal matrix. For that, for making the process easier, let's interchange these two rows. That is interchanging row 1 and row 2. So now the augmented matrix will become minus 1, 5, minus 1, 4 here and this will become 5, minus 1, 0, 9 and row 3 is as it is. Now we are going to divide the entire row 1 by minus 1 so that I get 1 the first place so this is 1 minus 5 1 minus 4 all the row elements change by its sign row 2 and row 3 is written as it is now we got this using the 1 we are going to make 0 here we have to make two zeros here already this is 0 so r2 is written as R2 minus 5 times of R1. So R1 is written as it is 5 minus 5 0 and minus 1 minus 5 into minus 5. So it is plus 25 minus 1 24. This is 0 minus 5 times of 1 is minus 5 then 9 minus 5 times of minus 4 which is 29. Now row 3 is written as it is 0 minus 1 5 minus 6. Now again to make the process easier let's interchange these two. So for that we have to write R2 interchanging R3. So our augmented matrix will become first row is written as it is and second row is 0, minus 1, 5, minus 6 and third row is 0, 24, minus 5, 29. Now let's divide entire R2 by minus 1. So R2 divided by minus 1 we get row 1 as it is row 2 changes its sign and row 3 is written as it is. Now using the 1 we are going to make two zeros one here another here in the process of making the diagonal matrix. So for this we have to take R1 as R1 plus 5 times of R2 and R3 as R3 minus 24 times of R2. Now in R1 this becomes 1, 0 and here it is 1 plus 5 into minus 5. It is minus 25 plus 1 minus 24 and here it is 6 sorry R1 is first so minus 4 plus 5 times of 6. 6 is 30 and uh, minus 4 which is 26. Now R2 is written as it is 0, 1, minus 5 and 6 and R3 this is 0, this is 0 and here it is minus 5, minus 24 into minus 5. So totally this becomes minus 125 and coming to this it is 29 minus 24 into 6. So this is 24 into 6 we have and when we subtract 29 
it is actually I have done in the reverse way, so it is minus one one five. Small correction. This is plus one twenty minus five is this is minus hundred and sorry plus hundred and fifteen here. So finally we got hundred and fifteen here. Now we have to make this as one. For that let's take R three and divide the entire R three by hundred and fifteen. So now our augmented matrix becomes one zero minus twenty four twenty six. 0 1 minus 5 6 0 0 1 and minus 1. Now using this one, we are going to make two zeros, one here and other here. So for this, let's take R 1 and this R 1 gives R 1 plus 24 R 3 and R 2 gives R2 plus 5 times of R3. Now in R1 this becomes 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 1. This is minus 1. And coming to this 26 plus 24 into minus 1 because R3. This becomes 2. And the next one is 6 plus 5 into minus 1. This is 1. So finally, we got the augmented matrix in the diagonal form. So from this, we directly take the solution x, y, and z. So here we take the value of x as two, y as one, and z as minus one.